Oh, hi there, I was just staring off into the distance mysteriously, thinking about my past life. But anyway, Mad Men has won Best Drama Series the last three years in a row, which has led people to say that Mad Men has won enough. That it's time to give a new show a go, that three is a pretty good haul. Well, if you don't like what people are saying, Mad Men, you need to change the conversation. Which is why I've come up with several advertising strategies that will help that conversation change for the Emmy voters. First off, People are saying three's enough, three's a pretty good haul. We need to change people's way of thinking and make them think, is three enough? Which is why the ad campaign asked the question, three Emmys full or one Emmy empty, man? Why stop at three, guys? You can always have that last sip. There's two ways of looking at this. You don't want to miss out on another season of Mad Men winning. So, that's our first strategy, but our second strategy plays on fear, which is a very successful advertising strategy. Mad Men was pretty well received when it won the past three years. The critics didn't complain, the industry didn't complain, the audiences seemed pretty pleased. Why risk an untested series? You don't know how another series is going to play out. So, that's why our next act campaign is Mad Men. A drama series that won't give you lung cancer. Now, will Game of Thrones, Boardwalk Empire, The Good Wife, Friday Night Lights give you lung cancer? Probably not. Giving them the Emmy would probably won't result that, but you don't know that. You've never given them drama series before. For all you know, Emmy voters, they will. Which is why you should go with Mad Men. The series you have given best drama series the past three years, and that you know hasn't given you lung cancer, or nothing else terrible has happened. Stick with what's safe, Emmy voters. Now the problem with a lot of advertising campaigns for mine is that they seem a little bit desperate. Like, you're doing them a favor by buying their product. And this is a problem mad men may face. The voters think they're doing Mad Men a favour by giving Mad Men a fourth Emmy win. Well, that conversation needs to get changed. The Emmy voters need to think that Mad Men is doing them a favour by accepting the Emmy for Best Drama Series. That actually, it will help the Emmys more than it will help Mad Men. So, that brings us to my third Emmy strategy. I just don't mind, oh. Which brings us to our third Emmy strategy. You know we could do better. Mad Men. Don Draper, he's a hot guy. Mad Men is a cool, hot, slick, prestigious show. It's getting plenty of offers from other younger, newer, sexier award shows to turn up. You want to give Mad Men the win. Mad Men's doing you a favour by even turning up to the Emmys Emmy. Okay, which moves us on to advertising campaign 4 and it incorporates all of these elements. Let's go. It never felt so good to play it this safe. Attractive picture of Jennery Jones, Don Draper having sex, smoking, drinking, all these appealing, cool things to do happening. It's a good show. It feels good to watch Mad Men. It feels good to support Mad Men, but it's also the safe option. Why stop at three Emmy voters when you can give them a fourth? It says here, you can always kick the addiction next year, Emmys. Why not have one more? It feels so good to award Mad Men, and you know it's a safe choice. And they're doing you a favor for showing up. There you go. 